Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you, Scorpio. Just know that I do look at you all as one of my blessings. And I appreciate all of your support and your congratulations. And yes, I am so happy in my new house, in my new space. And I feel magic is going to happen up in here, baby. I got to tell y'all, I have been waking up at 3.33 every day. Yes, I get up about 4 a.m. So the last two mornings, it has been 3.33 every day. And um, I just feel like some of you, something like this is happening to you as well. So I am sharing. Um, I've been having trouble sleeping. I have been, um, I, I just feel like a lot of energy. Um, you know, there, there's just a lot going on with me spiritually, ascension wise. And um, I'm, I'm so excited to share it here with you. I really feel like um, I am, my third eye is just, beaming like really i've been so on point um you may be going through a third eye opening as well scorpio but today for the second time i woke up at 3 33 so some of you may be waking up at 3 33 um you know things like this is happening you know waking up at 111 or whatever the case is it's my guides um giving me messages but, um, you know, they could let me sleep a little bit. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, y'all, I feel like we are going to be able to channel some beautiful energy in this room. I, I have, um, I saged and, and, and prayed and meditated in here before I even moved here, before I did anything. Um, and I just love the energy here. I um, heard the birds chirping. I went outside this morning, listened to the birds chirp. It's been so beautiful. I forgot what it was like to live in the country. So I'm so happy here. And I just want to thank everybody for your support. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have video reads. I have FaceTime reads. I have a twin flame read. And I have this reading. This is the in-depth love read, the, the mini version that we're doing here today. Um, how are they feeling and what are they planning on doing next? What is the outcome of this? And then we are going to get some advice. So let's hop straight in. I have deep wounds and wait, I have deep unresolved wounds. You can't fix them. I must do it. I am not sure exactly how. Okay. So this person wounded, they have a lot going on, a lot under the surface, and unfortunately they are unavailable. Now, for some of you, this person is literally unavailable because they are with a third party. For others, they are emotionally unavailable. And um, I feel like you're starting to understand that, that they are just not available to give you what you need, to give you what you deserve. They are playing games straight out the deck. I just had to say, uh, shake my head here. This person is playing games. They have unresolved wounds, but the thing is y'all is hurt people, hurt people. They are just bleeding all over you. And that's the naked truth spirit saying. I feel like there was something that smacked you like the naked truth here, right? This person's trying to find their self though. They're trying to find their self in all of the chaos and all of I just don't know if they have the tools to do it. If they have the tools to fix, you know, we all we all have the ability to change, the ability to heal. That's what we're here for, learning lessons, growing and healing. But some of us have better tools, better support, better, um, you know, as a Scorpio, you all take for granted how um, street smart you are or and how... Um, connected to the divine you are, connected to your spirit, your intuition, your, your body, your spirit tells you um, what you need almost. Some people are oblivious, right? They just don't have the tools to help themselves. They, they don't understand how to do it, how to change. They don't understand how to go through a rebirth, right? It's hard for them. 
Tell me how this person's feeling about Scorpio. Spirit, give us a message on how they're feeling about Scorpio right now. Oh, you yeah, all are mirroring one another. There's something, there's something that you're mirroring, okay, about it could be a wound, Scorp. It could actually be a wound. My goodness. Mm, there's anger. There's resentment. There is rage. For some of you, it is actual rage. This person has done something to fuck this all the way up. There's rumors. There's gossip. This person could be gossiping about you. This could have been a casual counterpart, a casual, casual connection of friends with benefits, or they were having casual connections um, and you were supposed to be in a committed, you know, there was broken promises. Promises were broken. They know it. They know that they broke promises. They did not, um, they weren't honest with you, their understanding of this, but they're stalking and they're lurking and they want to know what and who you are doing what with, right? This, they want to know what is going on, what you're doing, um, and who you're doing it with right now. They know they're unavailable, and that is why they ran from what I feel. I feel they're wild. Yeah, they're a passionate lover, very sexy. This person could be creative in their own right, independent financially for some of you. For others, this person is just chill. They don't like care about financial things almost. They're just kind of laid back, you know, like um, off the grid kind of person. This could be somebody who doesn't even have a Facebook or an Insta or doesn't do a whole lot on them. <clears throat> I feel they're watching you somehow though. For some of you, they're driving by your house. For others, this is online. It just depends on your situation. This person is on, you have them on your mind. I mean, they, well, obviously you too. Y'all all have each other on your mind all the time. This person thinks of you all the time. For a lot of you, though, this person is definitely stalking your social media. This person feels like y'all clicked. You have stimulating conversations here. They are not a bad person. They're just not traditional. They're a nonconformist. This person looks at commitment in a way, a different way, in, in a different way than, than probably you do right? They're fun. And I feel like for a moment, it was fun. Yeah, this person is lonely. They're isolated and they're disappointed. They, they, something's dull in their life. Let me tell you, if they left you for a, a thought or a um, run-up, they are now not having so much fun over there. Let me tell you that, Scorpio. This person is hesitant, though, to um, reach out, but they do look at you like you are a blessing. They look at you like um, you were one of their blessings. You were wish fulfillment to them. You were wish fulfillment. This person could have went to jail, could be going to jail, or could feel in a mental prison. They are in some kind of mental prison right now. Very hesitant to make a decision. Very confused. And that's why they're playing games. I don't feel it's necessarily that they're playing games like they want to play games with you. They're playing games because of their confusion. And so it's just bleeding all over you. They're in decision between you and another person possibly or wanting to be single or committed. I feel they're a nonconformist. They never thought they would be in a traditional marriage or a traditional relationship. Like they, they look at that as corny or, or something of the sort. This person is lonely. They're disappointed. They're isolated. I feel here um, they're trying to show their self love. They're trying to show their self more love. Um, they definitely hear, uh, you could be a parent. They could be parenting with somebody right now. They could be co-parenting with somebody or with somebody for the children. Very frustrated with their self. Yeah. Um, no one compares to you, Scorpio. Let's take our relationship to the next level. Let me make a decision here to come in and, and, um, actually commit to you. Um, actually give you what you've been wanting. I feel this person knows that you want more from them, but they could be dealing with a third party because of children or money or, um, you know, financial obligation to them or a third party could take care of them. Somebody here, I feel, takes care of the other one. There's a lot of codependency between them and a third party. I feel that's one of the reasons why they're unavailable to you. This person doesn't know if they would be able to um, take care of their self 
and the, um, their family if they what if they left their family. Now, if you have a family to this person and they left you for a third party, they're concerned about being able to afford taking care of y'all and um, taking care of their self, right? There's something about that. They're worried about finances. I feel this person is barely able to hold their self back anymore. Strength in reverse. They've been holding their self back um, lurking and stalking. They have been healing, recovering. This person could have been in recovery. They could have went to re they could have been court ordered to go to a rehab or court ordered to do parenting classes for some of them. Um, and they are recovering right now. They are looking forward here, waiting on something though, waiting, I don't, maybe for money to get better. Yeah. Waiting for, um, some money to come in but still just, they want a, a brand new beginning. This person's waiting for, to manifest new money, Ace of Pentacles. This could be a Leo. This could be an air sign, fire sign, earth sign. I feel this person here is waiting for something. Maybe they just started a new job. Maybe they're waiting for an investment to come through. Maybe they're waiting for a third party to get a job. Maybe they're, I don't know, there's something they're waiting on regarding finances until they can make their move. Maybe they're waiting on a house to sell, a divorce to be final, a settlement to go through. Whatever the case is, it has to do with money, pentacles, and um, uh, stability, like, um, you know, home, things like that. This person's lying though, still seven of swords on their G score. They're not telling the truth. They could be lying to a third party. What are they lying about spirit? They could be telling a third party that it's completely over with you, that they're done, that, um, you know, they don't love you anymore or something uh, along the lines of that. Yeah. They're lying to a ju the justice system. If you're in court with this person, like I said, y'all, for some of them, they are literally in court for maybe something criminal, it could be something financial, it could be divorce court, it could be domestic relations, but whatever the case is, um, there is fighting, five of swords, justice coming straight out the deck. There's fighting, there's arguing, there's bickering, there's going back and forth. You could be... Um, going to court, this person could, you know, for child support and they're lying about how much money they make, or they're lying about something about their work schedule, perhaps they could be also doing this with a third party. And this is why they are emotionally unavailable for a ones. Definitely. They are in a connection with somebody. They are in a commitment. They were either supposed to be in a commitment with you and y'all are in divorce court or um, or they were supposed to be in a commitment with a third party and you were having an affair and uh, they are now dealing with court matters or that's what they're worried about. They're worried about being took for all of their money or having to go to domestic relations. They've made this big thing up in their mind like, oh, I could never leave because they would take me to court. I would lose money. It's very materialistic, but people do this. I see it day in and day out here in my personal reads. People stay because they make this big, they catastrophize leaving and having to pay money. Um, even if they're good parents, they just feel like being took to court means um, it's like the end for them. There's something with that. Um, with this person. There is hope. There's something about their reputation. This could be an Aquarius. Um, this could be a Libra. Um, there's something about their reputation here that may be tarnished. They are um, setting their sights on this though, having hope, having optimism. Something could happen here in 16 days or on the 16th. And, um, M P M he could 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 mean something to you. You could have a Labrador retriever. You could have a dog together. You all could be fighting about a dog, or they have a dog, and and they are fighting with a third party. There's some kind of arguing, arguing. There's some kind of mental conflict going on about your connection. They do look at you like they can trust you, like you're a loyal friend, like you are dependable, like you are literally their wish fulfillment but they are parenting or doing something with a third party that's keeping them there. They possibly, honestly, for some of you, this person is dealing with a third party that is um, unable to care for their self because they're sick or they're mentally ill or there's some reason why they have to stay. Moving into what they plan to do next, I would love to communicate with you. 
I know I have to be the one to reach out this time. I start to do that and then I stop myself. Is it, it is right there. I don't want to hurt you again. This pain, this causes me pain too. This person is writing and deleting text messages, y'all. They are um, starting to reach out, stopping. They're holding on to you, though, for dear life. Emotionally unavailable, playing games, holding on. And what are they going to do next? Oh, stay stuck. Shake my head again. This person here is holding on. They, they have all of these unresolved wounds, all of this unresolved karma. I feel they're yearning for you, Scorpio, but they're deceptive as fuck. Whatever they, I feel like this person lies to their self. They don't even tell their self the truth. They're yearning to be back in your energy, but they have not been true to their self. There's secrets, there's lies, there's been, um, uh, they've cheated on this third party. If they're with a third party numerous times, or if it was you, they've cheated numerous times. I feel there were a lot of red flags. There are a lot of red flags here. This person lives in a fantasy world though. They're, they're stuck in the past. They're stuck in memories of you. It haunts them. These memories are like um, bittersweet because it's what gets, it, gets this person through the day, but then it makes them sick too, thinking about this being over. This person could be an introvert. Um, they could be uh, online dating or they could get online and fantasize and talk to other people and it's all just fantasy. It's how this person deals with this stress that they're under. They could be a lawyer. They could work in the, in the criminal justice um, field for some of you, so for, for others, this person could actually have some subscribers. They could have like a, a um, an online community that, um, you know, they could be famous for something or have like some online followers or something like that, right? On here, on, on YouTube or on Insta, TikTok, they could have a, a big following. Yeah, this person looks at you like you are a fucking dream. Honestly, they do but they just are so afraid and hesitant to communicate because they know they've hurt you in the past and they don't want to have to, um, they don't want to have to admit that they were wrong or, um, tell you they're sorry for some people. It is so sad, but saying they're sorry and I'm wrong, which is a very narcissistic trait is so difficult. Like it's so hard for them to apologize. They're blinded to something. They're awkward when it comes to something. Something here is coming to an end in their life, but they are staying stuck. That something could be coming to an end with a third party. They're depressed. They're paranoid here. What they're going to do next, though, they want to come in and have victory. They're trying to be obedient to something. They're, they're trying to profit first. There's some profit this person is trying to make before they come in. I feel here for a lot of you, this person um, needs to de-escalate somebody before they um, before they come in. Yeah, see, they're making grown-up choices. This is what they're doing. This person is suffering in silence. First of all, about to make some grown-up choices. But the thing is, is this, y'all? They want to. They're they're telling the third party really soon that they want to see other people that it's over, or they told you this. They possibly have been pen penniless, and now they're trying to make grown-up decisions, grown people decisions, suffering in silence here. you can They can still see your eyes. This person, there's something about when they dream. There's something about them fantasizing about you a lot. I don't love me. How can I love you? They're saying somebody's trying to cock block this from coming together. There could be a third party. There could be outside influences. I miss everything about you. They, they're, they could be selling things for money or at some point they were, or maybe y'all had to do that. Um, maybe times were tough when you were with them and now they seem to be doing better and you're like, oh, great. But you know, I was with you through the, the, the thick of it. I was with you when things were tough and now look, right? You could feel really unappreciative. Uh, listen to this. I'm living in a straight fantasy world. What did I say, y'all? I felt this. This person is living in a fantasy world. I knew who you were from the start and they knew exactly who you were to them. They knew. What are they going to do next, Spirit? They knew that this was special. A, there is a conviction coming down. 
something's happening. This person's either waiting to go to jail because they're waiting on something, waiting for um, a court matter, legal matters to be finished. Um, I do feel something's going to be judged fairly. We have four and 14. So um, 414, my angel number is going to have a meaning to you. Um, QA, QA, Q&A. It may be a Q&A that... Um, uh, question and answer kind of session that you want to have with this person. Like you want to ask questions and you want them to answer because they have been concealing things, disguising things in their ego. This person's been putting on a persona. Like for some of you, they have a, a persona online that they put on and you're like, I roll. Really? That's not who you really are. Or a persona they put on to the community. Um, there's deception, there's betrayal, there's silent treatments here, there's seduction. This person is easily seduced. This is a uncommon bond that you share. They want to reawaken lost hope here, but again, they're still staying stuck. They want to come in here and debate something with you. They're nervous. They could suffer from ADHD. They're going to make contact. They're going to text or call. Um, here in the next... Well, by August 22nd, I would presume a lot of you will hear from them. I know that's a long period of time, but it looks to me like this person's been in hermit mode. There could be a serious situation that they got themselves in and they're, they're going to spend some time in jail. They could do like, you know, six to eight months in jail or something. They could have got a, like th their third DUI or they could have gotten an you know, caught with possession, or they could have stole something, or this could just be um, going to court with with a third party or you, and they're waiting for this court order to be finished. For some of you, you you have PFAs against each other, or they're getting a PFA against the third party, or the third party got one, uh, you know, one them. So for others, it's going to happen sooner in, in the next 29 days or the 29th of May. I, I feel, I feel this person looks at you like a mystery, like you're wild, like you're, you're, you're passionately set. You're so passionate in, you know, sexually. They feel like you are just untamed. They, they can't control themselves. They want to come in and, and offer an invitation to, to go for dinner or an invitation. Honestly, y'all, I'm hearing Q and A. So I, I would assume they know you have a lot of questions that need answered. They're so burdened. That's why they're staying stuck. They're burdened financially. They're burdened by parenthood or bur burdened by uh, other obligations here, burdened by a third party. They're burdened in general. They could be burdened with this, this court matter that that's happening for a lot of them. If this is an actual court, this is karmic justice. They're receiving their karma. Yeah, 10, 10 out here on the board. A lot of synchronicities, a lot of mirroring one another. This is what they want. They want to come in here and offer their cup, Ace of Cups, 10 of Pentacles. They want to have a long-term connection with you. They want to give you their cup. They're overflowing with emotion for you, Scorp but in their mind going round and round here. It's just like a nine of swords. They can't, it, it going round. Wow. 10, 10, nine, nine, get out of town. Nine of swords, nine of wands. This person is burdened. They are literally the wounded warrior. If you want to, if you think of a wounded warrior, think of this person. They definitely are, but you all, you're mirroring one another. You're mirroring each other. So I feel you're wounded, Scorpio. You're in your mind too. This person's bleeding all over you. You may want to really be um, mindful about cutting the energetic cord with them because I feel you're picking up on their energy. You all are mirroring one another, definitely, right? So if you're having a good day, then all of a sudden you just start feeling low. It's because you're picking up on them. Um, there is healing happening. And this person wants to communicate, page of wands. This could be an Aquarius, a fire sign, water sign. Um, I feel here they want to come in and they want to communicate. They, they do look at you like you are a star. You could have a presence online. You could have something going on for you. You could sing. You could dance. Um, you could be a dancer. I feel here, yeah, this person um, wants a rebirth. They want, a re they want to transform 
they want to transform. But as I said here at the, at the beginning, this is a person who wants to find their self. This is a person who wants to transform, but are finding it hard to find the tools. They don't have the tools. Send them my way. <laughs> Send them over her. I will help them if they need it, right? This is a person that needs my coaching services. They want to help their self. They do want to change, but all of these unresolved deep wounds are just burdening the fuck out of them. Whatever is going on here with the third party, so burdensome. They have so much nostalgia. For some of you, you could have known this person since childhood. You could have met them when you were younger. You definitely could have had a child to them, but they have been in hermit. We have a lot of majors here too, y'all. Hermit and death. This could be a Virgo, lots of Virgo energy. This person has been in hermit mode, trying to be enlightened, being enlightened, trying to look for their, their true north here, knowing that, that, you know, it's you, but just suffering, suffering in silence, living in a fantasy world is exactly what they've been doing. So what are they going to do next? Well, text or call. They want to come in. They're very nervous to do this, though. They're debating it. They're going back and forth. As a matter of fact, they could be talking to people about, should I reach out? Should I text? Should I call? Um, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Look at this. I'm afraid to contact you. This was second card. This person is afraid to reach out. You and I were too young. For some of you, you meant, you meant this person when you were young, and this has been going on for years. For others, um, this person was just too inexperienced spiritually, mature wise, right? Maybe you were too. You could have been 40, but you all just hadn't been enlightened yet. There was something there like that mature level, you know, maturity level. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. This person's never let you go. Never. Energetically, they've held on to you this whole entire time. They have not let you go. It looks like there's a text or a phone call coming in anywhere between now and um, August for some of you. It just depends how brave this person decides to be. I do wish you the very, very best, Scorpio. So to close out the reading, I have a few personal messages for you, my love. A message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. I did a general reading um, just before this, and it talked about you receiving messages. The divine is trying to tell you something, whether it is about this person or another area of your life. My love, listen, watch for the signs. Like I said, three, 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 right? I, I'm, I'm listening. I'm paying attention. I'm being woke up with signs. You all a lot of you are going through the same thing, maybe just different experiences. You are unique. Be brave, a little crazy, but be yourself, baby. Yes, Scorpio. Um, your guides want to congratulate you for always being you. So what if you're a little crazy? So what if you're a little off? Be you, baby. Live your best life. Enjoy life. This is hard and this is tough, but who are you, Scorpio? What do you want in your life, whether you marry this person or somebody else? Who do you want to be? Be brave. Do things that make you happy, honey. Protect what you love. It is your duty and responsibility for some of you. You are fighting um, for your children in court, others. You are protecting you because that is who you love by putting up healthy boundaries here and in other areas of your life. And I congratulate you, but you are being guided here to protect the things and the people that you love in Scorpio. That is totally who you are. Libra, I bring harmony to my surroundings. Bringing balance to your life, Scorpio, is going to be so important. Um, now and moving forward so you can make um, good decisions give me two more spirit leave but you may be dealing with a libra venus energy i love i love i reflect my worth and my values and i celebrate my unique self once again being unique celebrating who you are you may want to do a full moon ritual here that may be very helpful um, to release 
a lot of these emotions. Um, remember that a full moon is for release, releasing what is no longer serving you. Write everything down that you no longer um, want to think about, that no longer serves you. Um, say a prayer, burn it in, under the full moon energy. Um, and Scorpio, I feel like it could benefit you a lot. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Tell yourself every day in every way, I get better and better. I am a winner. I am a unique person. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to have fun. And I am going to win, baby. I am a winner. All I do is win. Love and light.